All right, well, we're uh, down here in Hammertown, 2023 King of the Hammers, and we are sitting with the John Webb. Yep, hanging out. So, John, where are you from? Uh, from up uh, NorCal. Yeah, um, exactly. That's why Shitty we're... ass Bay Area, actually. Concord, <laughs> California. I'm trying to get to the mountains, man. But John Webb, Concord, California. Another NorCal boy. Um, and you've been racing King of the Hammers for a long time. Yes. What, when was your first year? Do you remember even? So I've been coming down here since 02. But my first race um, was 2012. And I came down in 09 when Jason first year first one then and you were helping jason out right? and i was helping him and hussy out my buddy hussy yep and yep. uh hanging out and at that point i was like man i gotta get involved in this this is looks like way too much fun you just so. kind of got the urge and said i gotta get in one of these cars exactly yeah i mean i already had a trail rig and it kind of at that point started morphing into a race car but it was never really a legitimate race car so you got i don't know if you remember but the first time i met you was at the sierra trek yes. up on fordyce right and you were in your trail buggy yeah um and I'd, i've never seen anything with tires more bald <laughs> than what was on that trail buggy yeah yeah and yeah. uh i don't even think we really talked you somebody said hey we're going down to windshield three right it was like midnight yeah i yeah. hopped in it with you and there's no panels you know your feet can stick right oh, yeah. through and hit the tires oh yeah um and we went wheeling that night and that oh, was yeah. i think first... i let you drive most i think of you did and that, <laughs> that was the first time i met john webb right right and uh we wheeled all night long oh yeah and we wheeled uh in the style of rock crawling that us northern california guys like to do on rubicon and fordyce which is low slow pick all the hard climbs the yep. hard lines yep. uh and work at it finesse it yeah i yeah. would say we finessed windshield three and went right up it right windshield three is not an easy one to get up right no, no that's a uh one. so that was a great memory for me hopefully it was for you oh too. yeah that was amazing and uh what kind of stereo system did you have in that that buggy well that was the old uh the house speaker, you know, the garage. Uh, that had a ratchet strapped about what, yeah house speaker. I think that was uh, I was drinking at the bar near my house one night, and uh, I walked home, and I woke up the next day, and there was two house speakers on my porch. Somebody donated like, them I'm to. Like, you. What the hell? Where the hell did these things come from? Right. So I called my buddy that I was with, and he's like, "Yeah, man, you picked those up on your way home last night and brought them <laughs> home," and I was like. Man, this is the best present Drunk John's ever gave me because I was hammered, blacked out, didn't even know I brought them home. And they appeared on, usually it's like you end up in jail or something stupid. Well, somebody but probably had them out speakers. on the street as the free garbage giveaway yeah, day. Yeah. And then like, obviously one man's garbage so then they is ended up on treasure. Yeah, they ended up on top now, of the Now, are you rig. aware that a house speaker doesn't operate on the correct ohms as a, you know, nah, a car that's, stereo? Nah, nah, that's no, minor because issues. The, the, the stereo <laughs> sound rad. And you had the old school iPod, you know, with the yeah, cord. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And we ripped all night. So fast forward, you come down, you help Jason at the hammers. Right. And then... Uh, you decide, you know what, I got to get in one of these cars. Yeah, yeah. So then that's when the morphing started, um, not on the trail rig we're, we're talking about. Yeah, you about, built but... a new buggy, right? Well, yeah, it was kind of before that, maybe a little bit. And I was, you know, I had a Toyota a long time ago and I bought coilovers and I was like, why am I going to dump it into this? And then actually I came down here and rode with Hussey in his V8 buggy. And I was like, all right, I'm building Gotta a V8. Have a V8. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why, you know, true American style. Absolutely, right. Burn the fuel, have a V8. So um, ended up building that. And then I came down in 09 and watched it. And I was like, all right, start start morphing this thing into a, a race car. And, and your first real entry into King of the Hammers was, your, we're not sure, but you're thinking like I think it was 2012. 12. I raced... Uh, Stampede race. They used to have it up in yep. Reno on that 101,000 acres or whatever yep, they had yep, up there, yep. and that was in 2011. And uh, I think and we you, did pretty good in that one too. I think we you finished came, like 12th or something in that race. You always finish. You came down here in 2012, and would be the second generation rig of yours, the buggy that you raced King of Hammers with, and you entered in 4400, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. And I, I would like to think that you were kind of the the Robin Hood of the 4400, <laughs> you know, class. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, you know, kissing babies and saving yeah, women. Yeah, I don't know and, about kissing. <laughs> and and uh, listening to the best music. Right? Oh, yes, yes. So that rig had a stereo system, yes, right? Yes, yes. And when you took off racing, you had it cranked. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've always been like, I'm here to have fun. 
if I'm not having fun, what am I doing? And I always try to like expand the fun, you know? So, you know, you have speakers on your rig, you come around a turn in a race, that's the last person that person working the course is gonna think that he's gonna see that day Absolutely. and have fun, you know? And he's like pumped on it. And right? your and your taste in music is something that I really appreciate. I mean, you're talking Willie, oh, Waylon, yeah. oh, you yeah. know. All the good all stuff. All the good stuff, right? Yeah, <laughs> uh-huh. So did you finish that first race, King of the Hammers? I think I did. I think I got like 20 something. I'm not 100% on it. It's a we, long, we, many moons ago. We you were kind of going over the numbers because in the years that I've raced with Yoder, um, in the early years when you didn't have the fast car, right. uh, we did a lot of swapping up. Oh, we yeah. we kind of had the same uh, race pace. Definitely. And we were winching people, rolling people back over, picking hard rock lines. Right. Same Having with fun. You, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, exactly. Just totally enjoying yourself. Come up right. to a bottleneck and you go, hmm. Let's go left. Yeah, let's, let's go try over that, that hard let's line. Pivot that yeah. rock, go through that bush, right. And right through with the stereo crank. Exactly, right? exactly. Um, so that car finished a lot of races. Like you think you had a twenty, a twenty in that car. And I got a tenth in that. And you got a tenth in yeah. that car. At yeah. that point, there was some big boys out there oh, on yeah. the course. There was already IFS cars and everything going yep. on. Yeah. And you just had a great day. Yeah, kind of like the turtle and the hare scenario yeah that, that's, <laughs> yeah the, the tortoise and the hare i'll yeah, go with that yeah. that's kind of what we do sometimes yeah. too right, right? Yeah. If, if you are moving the whole time you're doing you would good. be really surprised at how quick you can get into hammer right down. exactly and everybody thinks you have to have a big badass race car but if you're picking the right lines and you're moving yeah. you can come into town and party with all the big boys exactly no problem right exactly um and luck and luck <laughs> that's it everybody can prep and get everything ready but luck right. is a big deal luck with the king of the hammers deal. right so uh, that car, you had a lot of fun in, you had a oh, lot yeah. of finish. You started building a name for yourself. Everybody was looking for John Webb on the course. They want to know what, what song you're listening to, right. what line you're going to pick. I mean, it got you, big that year Randy rode, drove over that car. Uh, I was right before you, him. Yep, you were listening to music right yep. when Randy drove over that car, and you yep. were on a completely different left line up yeah. through the sage yeah, brush, exactly. you know, <laughs> just cruising, never cruising. backing up, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and to the point where, like, helicopters started following you, <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, so you're yeah, getting famous, yeah, right? Yeah, and then yeah. uh, being good friends as you are with uh, Jason Shear and, oh, yeah. and that team and living in the same area up there in Concord, Northern California as him, um, you know, he started to become a big help because you decided you want to build, you wanted to build an IFS car, right? Yeah, well, necessarily not really an IFS car. I was like, at this point, I'm going to need a new car. A faster car. A faster car. Because you're having Some, such a good time. Yeah, yeah, and, you know, it's like, I'm, I'm still coming out here to race. I'm not, you know, totally just, well, whatever. Like, I want to win. There's I want to do fine good. Line. People yeah. were thinking you were sort of mocking the sport in a sense, cruising, right. listening to music, but you weren't. No. You're out there on the course, you're having a good time, but. In order to step up to the next level, right, you had to get a car that would. So do the, that. Uh, yeah, I started looking at like Eric Miller chassis, maybe a bomber car, and I was like, eh. And then Jason came in. He's like, dude, why don't you just copy my car? And I'm like, really? You would it, let me do that? That is amazing. And, right? and that's what a good friend will do. And you yeah. know, Jason was ever morphing his car from one to the next to the next. So right. he was going to have a run of. Uh, what we like to call pre-owned components right, exactly. that were coming off. And, and like, <laughs> Jason's such a nice guy. He he, he's like, look, man, let me give you the geometry, yeah. give you the design. Then you can kind of, you know, wash out my my older pre-owned parts, right, which are right. still good. Oh, yeah. And then obviously you put a ton of money into the chassis, getting everything going. Sure. But like to have that help from him. Oh, it was, I wouldn't be here without Yeah, him. you wouldn't even he's be racing. He's an amazing guy. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, and I know all of it. This car to him, for sure. Absolutely. And, and you know, people don't realize how much other racers put it on the line for people they're going to go race sure. against you know to help them out to get them out there to yeah it's not like screw the other racer it's like let's go all have fun and that, let's go all race how king and let's of the get out there is. yeah king of the hammers is not screw the other like hey you need a part that i have a spare take it man i'm yeah. just walking through camp i've seen people I mean, this year the 543 uh, high pinion gears are oh, like yeah. coveted, right? Oh yeah. And so like other race teams are loaning their gear sets yeah. to other race teams and just to get people out on the course exactly. and racing again, yeah. right? Because we need people to race against. So we don't want to be out there by ourselves. Absolutely. <laughs> so four years ago, Dan Trout, another yep. Northern California badass fabricator, badass. Uh, built this chassis for you, yep. right? Yeah. Um, and then you started kind of putting the pieces of the puzzle yeah, together. It, after I got it from him, it took like a year or so to finish it because 
you know, I'm just a normal working guy. Yeah, so you live in Concord. Money. You have a two-car, <laughs> little single-story house, two-car yeah. garage. Yeah, 1,200 square feet. 1,200, yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. I'm in 1,700, oh, so, dang, you know, yeah. Yeah, big time. But I got the little garage, too. Right, yeah. So you took that chassis, you put it in the garage at your house, and yep. we didn't get a chance to come down and see it at the house. I'm, I'm disappointed. Well, I had to do some bargaining. I had to get rid of the old car, just even just pay for a lot of the parts I even have. And, and uh, it kind of, there was a long backstory on the whole how this car initially started. I had a guy come out with me with a sponsorship and that kind of fell through. So then I had to do side work and you all were this stuff. hustling Craigslist yeah, and selling, selling all this. the parts of the old exactly. car. And you get more money if you sell each thing individually yeah, exactly. than sell a whole car, right? Exactly. And then that garage was also full of a bunch of other stuff. Right? Yeah, a bunch of shit stuff. In I there. mean, I've seen your rat rod build. I've oh, yeah. seen, obviously, your, your biker. So you got a you bunch got a of Harleys, Harleys in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's really a a sweet garage yeah. but it's not it's not fancy and pretty <laughs> no. like some of these no, shops we've been to it's right? like yeah squeeze yeah, by way through work on the car <laughs> yeah so and, and you you get up go to work every day and oh, hustle yeah. every bit of money yeah. and then in the middle of that uh you got married right yeah and then you married. have two kids i got now. two kids now um, so yeah. you're trying to be a dad yeah oh, you're yeah. still trying to recreate you're trying yeah. to work every day exactly and then work on the car and get down to the hammers yeah, yeah. um a lot going on a lot going on yeah. right uh, <laughs> so that first year you brought it down here um how'd you do killer like the car worked i mean I'm, i didn't know anything better right like I, I went from that trail car that was killing your kidneys in every whoop oh god to it this was, thing and i'm like these guys have been cheating this whole time you were beating yourself beating through the yourself. desert i was behind you yeah. a bunch of times in races and just watching you go, kr, 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 kr. oh yeah but oh, yeah. in the rocks it did well the rocks, the rocks. Did get. yeah yeah it was a killer um, car and now this new car just ripped in the desert rips right? in the desert and it's it's good it's a different animal in the rocks it's 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 you got to hit stuff with speed and it's so it's just you, a lot different and it's hard to transition because you are a rock crawler right right you right. were born a rock crawler you finesse you take it easy yeah i mean that old buggy had a had a toyota cylinder or, right, right. toyota yeah. four cylinder right yeah, exactly and uh so now you got to learn how to drive with high horsepower right and um we were just having this conversation that your torque converter is only like a 2500 stall yeah, right? exactly you know, a lot exactly. of these guys are way higher stall than that and they're way revving higher. the engine yeah. and dumping the, the yeah a lot of wheel spin right not necessarily finesse right? right and i don't think that's all necessary that's good in the desert but the rocks you still need to keep some sort of traction on some certain areas like sometimes yeah. you got to just send it through stuff but other times it's just and knowing when to use it and when to not use it so that that i'd like to call you a technician you know? <laughs> And, and believe it or not, being that the car kind of morphed from Jason, you know, I really respect the way Jason drives a race car. He is, right. you know, the number one technician in exactly. driving a race car when he it is. comes to that kind of stuff, he right? Is. Carrying momentum, yep. wheel speed, having it at the right time, picking the right lines. Yep. And I, I see you driving like that in this new car. Um, trying. And I respect that a lot. Um, so that first year you entered it, did you finish? Yeah, I got fifth place. Fifth place, which yeah. is which is your best yeah. finish to so date, right? Yeah. yeah. And then uh, you raced the car three more times or two more yeah, times? Yeah, so I, uh, the year after that, we had a bunch of issues. Uh, which we saw you on the course that time. Yeah, I was exactly. riding with Yoder, we passed a yep. bunch. You did, yep. what, what you had like drive line so issues. So yeah, three drive lines, uh, sheared the rear unit bearing studs for the wheel and then lost a front axle shaft. So I've been talking to a lot of people um, down here and there's a certain kind of race car driver when they have a catastrophic failure, like just throwing drive lines, shearing wheel studs, that kind of stuff. Uh, they go, I'm out of the race anyway, screw it. They toss their helmet, right. they leave, they call the pit crew, the race nah. is over. Um, I know you're not that kind of racer. Nah. It's finish <laughs> at all costs. Exactly, right? exactly. And, and even when you go out there on Saturday, if something doesn't go your way, you and your team will do everything you can to come across that finish line before 10 o'clock. For sure, for sure. You know, there's no giving up yeah. here. And well, so, I knew last year, like, or not last year, the year before we finished 26, yeah. um, we had all those issues. The, right off the start line, the iPod died, and we had you no lost music. The music. We lost the music right off Although the start. So that's something we didn't so talk like, about. Even the new car has music. Oh, on. yeah, definitely. Yeah. So it was yeah. like, 
oh, this day is not going to go good. Like, uh, was, I just, and Huss was riding with you? No, actually Perry was. Oh, okay, yeah. So, yeah, then uh, we were actually, the first lap, we were right behind Randy, and Randy won that year. Yeah. So we were tailing Randy the whole race, and then Outer Limits, that's when the wheel sh uh, studs sheared off. So you off. were on the pace. I was, to, yeah, to, I think to, I was in like fourth or something yeah. when I broke, and uh -huh. then... Then and, I had and, you know, that is everybody's story. Yeah, I, mean, oh, it goes, I was in third place right till yeah, I broke. Till you, you break, know? right? Yeah, so right. it's like whatever, you know. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know that happens, right? Yes. So yeah. yeah, I ended up. We we're at the bottom outer limits. Hiked all the way. I hiked all the way out to the pits and then hiked back and put the. So I've, I've done that hike before, and that's about a mile and a half each way, and it's yeah. pretty brutal. It's brutal uphill, right? Yeah. But totally doable. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can do that in an hour, hour and a half, right? And get the car back together and get going. Get going. You know, and it's like. Come on, people! Almost anywhere you are on the rock trails, you can hike. You can it. hike it to a pit, get parts, and get back. Exactly. And and get going. And there's also other people racing that you, your pit guys can send parts. Yeah, to, right. But right. You know, yeah, you just decided that was year to go get those parts, and then to come in and finish 26, it's still just the best feeling in the world right. to pull in there, right? Yeah. You know, Dave Cole standing there, he shakes For your sure, hand. Right. You know, the, yeah. Um, like rough day, but hey, we finished. It was good. Yeah, you know, like absolutely. All right, so you've had uh, three finishes in this car. Yeah, three finishes. Um, and I think we were doing some stats earlier that you have. Did we say six out of ten finishes? I think so. Ten yeah. starts, six finishes yeah. between the two Some cars. Some close to that range. Uh, music on all of them. Oh yeah. Uh, listen Shout to out. tunes. Yeah. And. Uh, in the so, old car one year, I even stopped in the pits to get in because the iPad died. We got another iPad oh to finish the race. Hold on, we yeah. can't go back up. <laughs> get us a new iPad. Yeah, we called yeah. in. Hey, we need an iPad. We're stopping. We stopped, uh, grabbed the iPad, tore off. That's awesome. The race. That yeah. is awesome. So um, that's pretty good. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about this 2023 Hammers. Um, you're you're ahead of the game. You've been on this lake bed for six days already. Uh, you got here Monday? When last get... Monday. Last, oh shit. So, so not you... yesterday, the Monday before. Yeah, so you've been here eight days. Yeah. Right yeah. now. Um, <laughs> and you're not in a big fancy RV, are you? No, no, I've been staying in my enclosed you're trailer. sleeping on the yeah. floor of the trailer. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate the that. The first two nights, there was, the race car was still in there. <laughs> oh, so you're sleeping my in My son the came car. down with me because mm -hmm. he wanted to come. He's four. And so we both slept in there just sardined up and then uh the, the wife and, and your other child is coming down right now exactly and then you actually stepped it up this year you rented a trailer i know because you're bringing the wife and kids down that's, you got that's pretty much how it yeah went yeah. down she's like i'm not spinning because our youngest is like a year and a half and she's like i'm not spinning you know five days in the desert with a year and a uh, you know yeah one and no, a half year i totally old get it without yeah. a trailer or shower so you had to take basically two weeks off of work for yeah. this thing and that financially that's a big hit it right? is it, it kind of morphed into that because of the dyno for the car i got everything done but it needed to be dynoed right because and the reason it needed to be dynoed is because you took your just cam six liter out and you went with the big boy motor yeah. this year so right? yeah a, a gently used uh pre yeah pre-owned so uh <laughs> it's okay to say who's your motor sponsor who'd you buy your motor jason from Shearer, yeah. yeah so you know jason you now is uh out. racing for ford and exactly so, so he had to take the chevy engine out yep. huh? he had so, an old ls7 kicking around guess so. who wins on that deal i, I definitely won john on webb that. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so you got like fancy things like dry sumps i know and, yeah i know it's crazy it's well, mind blowing well uh in a minute here we're going to get up and you're going to walk me around the car because okay. i haven't seen the car up front but uh you know i'm going to ask you one question and and you can answer that so if if you're not going to be that number one guy on the podium out of all the racers, who would you choose to be the number one? Jason Shearer. Jason Shearer. I knew you were going to say that. And 100%. it's not because you're forced to say that. No, it's you, no you he's a good guy. He puts he's, in the work, right? He's, uh, yeah, he's a, he's a really, really humble, good guy. I mean, um, one of the best. I, I agree with you 100%. Yeah. And, uh, people yeah. don't get to see the backside of him. No, uh, he's an amazing, yeah. amazing guy. For sure. Well, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get up, we're going to walk around, you're going to show me your car. Yeah, yeah, let's do All it. Right. Let's do it. Let's walk around this car and let's talk about this race car because this is really uh, pretty leading edge technology as far as the IFS cars that are out there. And uh, even though you started with that fun buggy with bald tires and a speaker on the roof, oh, yeah. you're like at the top echelon I know, right it's now. Crazy. So it's crazy how this has occurred. <laughs> so Trout built the chassis. He right? did. He did. Um, and 
It's IFS. It is. It is. And this IFS is basically Jason's design yeah, from his, his old car. And yeah, now is his old car as of this year. As is, yeah, oh, yeah. cuz people don't know he's coming out with a new car he's this year, but this, this is year, like yeah. last year's car is set exactly. up. Exactly. Exactly. Um, and Which is Really cool because if I had any issues, I'd be like, "Hey, Jason, can I borrow an upper A arm?" <laughs> and it bolts right in, like yeah. literally, it's so the same thing. Now I'm kind thing. of losing that, and now I'm like stressing, like, "Oh man, I got to get some spare parts going here because I don't have that luxury anymore." <laughs> so rear end, rear engine, right? So yep. in the front here, you just got the winch, front diff, and it's running a Gearworks Gearworks low pinion ten. Uh, yeah, so low flipped. pinion flipped. And then it has the tube works pinion support, exactly. right? Exactly. Which is kind of what everybody's been doing. It's kind yeah. of weird. The gear works this, so some tube works that. Yeah, the tube works uh, pinion support is... That is badass. Is badass. The pinion yeah. bearings are huge, huge in that thing. Yeah, yep. they're, they're crazy. So. IFS, Fox yep. shocks, bypasses, uh, all the A-arms are chrome ollie. Yep, all, all TIG welded. Treated. Yep, heat treated. Um, yep. So... What do you got here? Some speakers, you know, of course. Yep. That's uh -huh. my, uh, my trademark for the most part. The Arc Audio came through with some speakers. And, uh, and Arc Audio is your sponsor on yeah. speakers. Yeah, on the yeah. speakers, yep. yep. And this is a two-seater car. Two-seater car. Uh, always bring co-driver with you. Yeah, it's way more fun with someone else. Absolutely. Some, you know, it, when you're like, do something crazy, and you're like, man, that was crazy. Uh, if you're I, by yourself, I don't get that? how people do yeah. that in single seaters. Like, right. there's nobody to enjoy there's it. Not, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, so something that you've done this year yes. is voila. Voila. So, so that progressed from the LS7 swap, and one of my main concerns was uh, losing oil pressure and spoke in the motor. So this because that's a Gucci motor. That's it like is, is, that's I mean, not on the, the most budget. Money I've ever spent. You don't on have motor. a spare. <laughs> yeah, and that, I got a deal on it. <laughs> that motor is more money than any car you've yeah, ever exactly, built. Right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, I needed some alarms going and stuff like that if, if I lost oil. Pressure. So just so everybody understands, that Motec system is full engine management, yep. fuel management, yep. um, and basically can data log and run everything on the car. Exactly. You can log fuel pressures, temperatures shock temps, yep. diff temps, torque converter temperatures. It's like endless. The, the sky's the limit on that, exactly. right? Exactly. And what what else did you add to that thing so that we just yeah, saw earlier? Super fancy. Got a backup. Big Gucci parts here for John Webb, <laughs> a let me tell you. backup camera now. So like, so I've you, never, ever... You got the radiator and all this behind you. Exactly. can't see behind. So you literally can hit the backup camera. Right. Oh, this, this, this is your is mirror. mirror. <laughs> look, look at how big that mirror is. Yeah. So, That's my, you know, so your tech. So you know, now you have the backup up cameras yes. you can see who's behind you but you know now you're so fast they're all behind you anyway right, right? <laughs> i hope so <laughs> yeah um walk around to the back you have the engine tucked in here because yep. it's rear engine car rear right engine car and yep. you run an atlas transfer case i do, I do. and is it a turbo 400 turbo 400 a reed case on it reed case yep. another uh pleasant hill concord yeah, exactly. company Local reed company, racing they always take good care of me. dennis hook you up on yep. the transmission yep. definitely. absolutely definitely he's a good um, guy is it a reverse manual valve body turbo yep. 400 yep um, and you said about 2,500 stall on the torque yeah, converter. Yeah, 25 a Hughes converter. It's like a nine inch, so smaller. Less oh, that, yeah, mass. those smaller ones. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, and then same Fox bypass shocks, trailing yep. arms, trailing uh, arms, yep. air bumps, bumps, chrome alloy rear housing, 40 spline. I would assume in the rear. Yep, 40 spline. And then your front IFS, you basically have your qualifying stuff in there right now. That's yeah. 35 spline. So the third is a 40, and then the outers um, are 35, just because. They were some and then when you go racing you're gonna do some 40, 40, 40. spline outers and, yeah. and new pre-owned cvs exactly. for the race yeah. right because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> in true john webb fashion come on up here and take a look at this so uh, you know I, I we come up here and we're, we're watching you guys are working on the car and i look underneath here and oh, the, yeah. that looks like a roll of electrical tape oh, yeah. right yeah. there we had a little tear oh. in the boot so and the the control arm bent right about here right yeah so tore hit, the boot hit a rock and uh bent it a little so, bit for qualifying, you're going to run those old shafts with the electrical tape. Exactly. Even if the tape comes off, it, you're it still is, going to be good, yeah, right? It is what it is. And then, uh, you know, from there on out, anything else like that you really like about this car that you want to point everything? out? <laughs> everything. <laughs> yeah. It is an amazing vehicle. It, it's fast, huh? It is. It's, especially with this new motor, it's like the old motor, you know, I was always in between second and third and just kind of going back and forth because I couldn't get 
it would dog out in third and then second it would be revved, revved out. And so now with this new motor, it's like third gear, you can just pull. So I've only driven in one car that had a big motor. It was reverse manual valve body and I'm not really used to reverse manual valve bodies, right? right. And I was out there on the MDR course and I was kind of drifting a corner and I wanted to slow down and downshift and blast it around the corner. So right. I went to click from second to first, but my brain got messed the up third. on the reverse manual yeah. and I hit third and instead of the motor bogging, like you're saying, right. it blew the tires off in third gear off, yeah. at like 25 miles an hour. Right. <laughs> like that's when you know you got a big Good motor, guy. right? Yeah. So now the new motor, you know, when you shift it up to third gear, it just lays down and lays rolls. Lays it down, yeah. yeah. It's, it's amazing. It's, yeah. it's such a, this is an actual race motor in the, and I just had like a rock on motor before pretty much. Yeah, but you got real race motor things to worry about. Yeah. You got the dry sump belt, you can't keep, yeah, exactly. you know, no rocks in there. No you rocks. gotta pay attention to all the engine management. Yep, that's so. why the whole Motec setup, which was a, th you know, it was a, a love and hate relationship with yep. the Motec, you know. Yep. And you have a, a throttle cable, right? A lot yes. of guys run drive-by wire, but you yeah, got a throttle I'm cable. Anti. I, yeah. I, I feel like as old school as you yeah. can be with new school <laughs> stuff, exactly. right? Right. I can always reach over and run the throttle body at some point. Oh, absolutely. To get back, you right. Know, worst yeah. case scenario. Well, uh, I came up here. I didn't even realize you had a big motor now, and yeah. you were so fast with the other motor that now I'm really excited to see what happens uh, on race day. I'm so hoping it all comes together. We know. look forward for you to qualifying well, and then uh, we'll talk to you when you come across the finish line. Okay, sounds good. And uh, I'm good if it's first, and I'm good if it's 21st, oh, right? Yeah. yeah, So just gotta have fun. Let's That's get it across the line. Yeah. Um, you have any sponsors you wanna oh, yeah. talk about real of quick? Course. I mean, I don't wanna be that kind of guy, but <laughs> come on, you gotta do it, right? Right, yeah, yeah. pay the bills, right? So yeah. of course I got Poly Performance this year in Synergy Manufacturer. And Eagle. this is huge right here. Like Eagle. this is, I know. that's Eagle. American. American. American flag, Eagle yep. on the hood. Exactly. Yep. And what's this thing right here? That's a, that's a long story. So growing up, you know, I never had a lot of money. So I'd go to the junkyard and get little beater cars. And that guy's been on like pretty much every beater car I've ever owned. I used to hot glue him to the hood and at like 65, he'd start leaning back on the hood. Oh yeah. So yeah. he's just been, you know, who riding all my rides. And now he's kind of just my good luck to Good luck charm for, nice. for the race. So yeah. back to sponsors, uh, Poly Performance, Synergy, uh, your speaker sponsor. Yeah, Arc Audio, and I got Dirty Life uh, Race Wheels. They've been coming through with wheels, um, killer wheels. You get um, you get anything from BFG on tires? Not or? this year. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they're, they're real stare, you can run pre-owned tires too? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Like, that means they're worn in. What, That's you have I a got. history of yeah. doing really well on, on pre-owned yeah, tires. Whatever, right? it's, it's just rubber, yeah. you know, we'll figure out. And then I got Perry, uh, he, he opened up a shop this year. He does all my diffs. He's a good friend of me, uh, mine and Venetia. And then uh, I got Modified Vision, sunglasses, and Rigid Lights. Um, and then a Cheese Zombie Spot local to me and West Coast Tea Bar Bars for the Harley. Nice. Harley and me, you know? Nice. So, yeah. Well, we'll see you on the finish line. Right on. Thanks, Bob. Yeah, for sure.